Hey guys, Brand Play Gaps here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make cool little animations with an image or a button or whatever you want to. So let's get started. Let's just hop into Xcode real fast. And we will create a new project. View based application will do. It's called picture, whatever you want to. And here it is. So I just have this little guy, ninja guy thing right here. That'll work fine. Whatever image, I'm just going to use an image. Whatever image, button, thing you want to add is fine. So once it's in there, that's fine right there. I'll make it bigger. It fill it. There it is. And so first thing, let's go in our classes and write that H. And in between the curly brackets, let's do IB outlet. Outlet UI image because that's what we have. View. And if you have a button, you do uh, IB uh, outlet and then button and star pick. That's what I just call it. Save it. And I want to add four buttons. Um, spin. Uh, size. Move and reset, and those are the four buttons you want to do. And now let's just go into our resources file and go to picture view controller the XIB. And this might actually take a while, so I'll just come back to y'all um, when it's done. So. Alright, so here we are. Interface Build is loaded up, and let's just change the background first off to make it look good. Transparent to my image. Um, let's add four different buttons, and we're going to duplicate it four times. So you have four different buttons right here. There we go. So let's just do move, um, spin, uh, Scale and reset. All right, that looks fine. Whatever you want. And now let's add our image. There, that'll work. Man, that's what I called it, and that looks fine right there. All right, so now what you want to do is go into your view connections and click on your files owner right there. And so to pick whatever you call it goes to your image or button or whatever you did uh, move touch up inside reset goes to reset touch up inside size or scale that's what I called it same thing goes there and spin goes to spin touch up inside so now we're done there save it and quit it and go to your .m so now you want to declare all your all your actions that you called in there so this might take a while set um, move I had um, I had move and what else do I had I had and size, yes, yeah, size. Alright, so once you have it all done, and we'll just do move, and I just have all the code here, I'll just paste it right there, and we named it pick, and that should be good. So we will then, we're just gonna do um, zero across, and, or let's just do for this sake, 10, let's do negative. 10, uh oh, negative 10, um, so go to the left, 10 pixels, and down, let's just do 100 pixels, to, yeah, just down, so we left 10 pixels, down 100 pixels, so that'll be it, and size, just paste that code again, paste in this one, and paste in that one, so right here, transform, delete this, Press escape to get this list and size 
scale right there. And let's just do it two times two and semicolon save it real fast. And after transform, delete that, escape it, and reset. Uh, it's this identity. It's a little. Ooh, ooh. I'll just undo what I just did. Sorry about that. All right, just delete that and press escape again. Oh, or not? Escape. There it is. And it's this little green one. Identity. There it is. And. There you go, and just press this, then semicolon, there you go. And then in spin, you want to, after this transform, just delete that right there, and press escape, and spin will be to rotate. And let's just, ro oh yeah, there's this, um, we'll just, uh, it's still like, it's like this little number that, you know, it, all right, well, here, I'll pause it and I'll come back to y'all with the website, so. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, just got pulled up the website right here, so internet. And this link will be in the description. It's If you just uh, want to Google, it's degrees to radiance converter. And let's just type in um, 50 degrees. And then here comes this little random number and just copy it. And wherever we are, you just want to do it. Here or not this one. Um, make rotation. That's it. In in this CG float angle, you want to just paste that little number that you got right in there. So it's make rotate and make translate and make transform, make scale. That's it. So uh, this should work. Let's just build and go. See if it does. Building. Oh yeah, I forgot to um, change all these to pick, so it shouldn't work. So yeah, three errors right there. That's what I just said before. I caught it. Hold on. Pick. Just change all these real fast to pick. Sorry about this. Uh, Pick there, guys. So save it. Uh, command or Apple S or an Apple R. It'll build it again, and hopefully this time it'll work. All right. So it succeeded. Succeeded, and it's installing into the simulator. This might actually take a while because this I'm recording something, and it just takes a little longer because I'm recording. All right. So here we are. Launches up. So let's just move it has a little delay right there because animation delay 5 seconds point three and takes uh, 1.5 seconds to get down there so there you go there's move if it delays you could change this if you want to but yeah alright here's spin has to delay sorry about that and it spins back to its spot and that little uh, I think it's 50 degrees we put it and scale and it should double the size there it is and then reset we'll just reset it to its normal state there it is alright so you move it sorry about this delay reaction uh, you could actually change this and it'll be a lot faster move it and then you just reset it So there you go. So that's it today's tutorial. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.